Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to address something I saw in the comments. Uh, and I see this sort of stuff often, and it's oftentimes from teenagers who, let's be realistic, you guys make up a very, very, very tiny amount of my demographic. Okay, uh, I do have demographic data, I do see the analytics. The 25 to 35 is actually my largest group. All right, that is my largest age group of followers. So I'll see teenagers who don't understand that a lot of the info that I'm putting out is for people who are gainfully employed, people who have income, things like that. I mean, in fact, over 50% of my actual clients make at least $100,000 a year, right? They're six-figure income earners. That, that actually comprises the largest chunk of even my client base. That being said, do I have teenagers who are clients yes absolutely absolutely um, and unless their parents are paying for the coaching which has happened they all have jobs okay and so this is something that we need to talk about when I will get teenagers who say well I struggle to get enough food to gain muscle okay? I struggle to get the training facilities I need because I'm in high school or whatever else is going on. And one of the things that I would say to a lot of them is, okay, and have you tried rationally and calmly talking to your parents about maybe getting you more rice and potatoes, more bananas, having more bread laying around so you can get more calories to gain muscle? Have you calmly explained to them that lifting and getting stronger is something that, that's important to you and that you think that it will help you become a more disciplined person and that you feel like it makes you more disciplined when you when you do it and more focused when you approach parents and there's going to be exceptions to this obviously showing that you actually are showing some real initiative don't whine and cry like a child when you actually calm down and talk to your parents like an adult and say something that you are doing is important to you and it makes you feel disciplined and it makes you feel some value for putting in work. You are very, very likely to get a more positive response from your parents. Okay? And I'm telling you that as an adult, a man in his 40s who is been your age who understands how adults think or paying the bills showing a little bit of initiative and adult mindset and discipline will get, tend to get you a lot further with your parents okay it will tend to get you a lot further now that being said what are your other options when you say well I, I I can't afford to do this and so you put yourself in that mindset and I would say to a lot of you if you have adult goals then you need to think like an adult you think like a grown-up all right and saying that you want to put on 25 pounds of solid muscle that's a serious commitment and I can tell you right now the majority of teenagers don't have the level of discipline to do that I'm just telling you how it is okay and I have had clients who do that. They pay for a few months of coaching who are in that, that age range and then decide, ah, it's just not that important to them. And I have others who stick it out. But by and large, most, most teens don't have that level of discipline. You might be the exception. And if you are, then hey, great. But I want you guys who are asking these questions and asking for advice to think through the situation. How do you think most people who are up here lifting really heavy weights and strong, you better look a little closer at what they're doing. All right. I know very, very, very serious lifters who work full-time jobs, have kids, have to have family time. They have all these other responsibilities. And yet they still build a 600 pound deadlift and a 500 plus pound squat. 
with a wife, with kids, with responsibilities. Okay? Your only responsibility is to go to high school? Or to take some freshman college classes? I want you to step back and think about that for a moment. And then think about the fact of do you really think that you're serious about your goals? All right, because I have a teenage client right now who works a part-time job, pays for coaching, trains, all right? And he's been doing that for over six months. And I'm not saying that you need to hire me as a coach because I don't take on that many teenagers, to be honest. It's not my preferred demographic. There can be problems with it. But the point there is that if you're really serious, if you say, hey, I actually am really serious. And you're saying, well, you're struggling to have enough money because mom and dad won't support you. Towards this goal, what is your option? Your, your option is to go get a part-time job so that you can afford more food and afford the gym membership or transportation, the home gyms or whatever it is that you need to do to make it happen. Okay, if it's serious, if it's something you're serious about, that is what you are going to do. Otherwise, it's just, it's just a game. It's just a game. You just kind of want to gain some muscle, some strength or whatever. You're not, you're not actually serious about it. Because people who are serious about it find a way. And I'm not going to necessarily talk about my situation because I'm in a completely different situation from 99.9% .9 of the world. I've turned this into a, a profession with a relatively lucrative income from it. Okay. I've got a lot of money tied up in home gyms and other stuff. I can schedule my life around a lot of this. But... You know, again, people seem to think that that means I don't work a ton of hours. I work a 60-hour work week. Easily. With my businesses. And I'm finding the time to do all this training that you guys see vlogged. So step back even and look at that or look at other, other people who are adults who work over a 40-hour work week. Handle their family responsibilities and still have advanced numbers or possibly even elite numbers. I know plenty of those guys. So if they can do all that, then you can find a way to earn the money that you need to make this happen. Because those people are buying all their own stuff. I mean, you're like, well, they got jobs. Yes, they have jobs. But they're buying it all themselves. Okay, they're paying for all of it themselves in addition to supporting their families and their household. And what you're essentially asking is, if you're in that case of, of wanting your parents to pay for all those things, that these other people pay for themselves, but you want your parents to pay the household and support everything. Well, that may not happen. It might happen with the suggestions I gave earlier, but what if it doesn't? Well, then you're going to have to show a little bit of initiative. You're going to have to show some initiative. And I've seen some guys were like, oh, I'm 15, I'm 16. You're telling me you can't go find a weekend job? You can't work on Saturday? If you are really serious about your training, if you are serious about your lifting, and it means something to you as a serious commitment... This is an adult commitment. You need to treat it like one. That means that you need to put in the extra work, not just with the training, not just with the food. I mean, if you're struggling to eat 3,000 calories a day, if that you think that's hard work, I don't know what to tell you. Come on. 
if you think that's hard work, then, then you really don't, don't know the meaning of hard work at all. You don't know the meaning of hard work at all. And that's not going to help you towards your goals. If you're serious about your goals, you're going to have to also put in some work to figure out how you're going to pay for it. Okay? If it's important, you'll do so. It's not that expensive to buy food and to be able to afford decent training facilities. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.